Hey guys, this is Josh Haynes coming at you once again with another Saber Reveal. And uh, before I get started, as I do in my other videos, uh, i got to send a shout out this time to Neil's Music Room here in Memphis, which is a venue I've played several times. And um, I'm really uh, focusing on them because they've put on so many benefits and have helped so many people and musicians in need. Um, and uh, Neil Hines, uh, who's the owner of Neil's Music Room, is a great guy. Um, I've always enjoyed the staff, and the staff has always been very pleasant to me. I can't say enough good things about them. One of my favorite venues to play here in town. So if you're an out-of-towner and want to check out a place for good music, go check out Neil's Music Room. They do blues jams on Thursdays, hosted by Jack Rowell. So uh, it's a cool venue, so go check it out. Um, anyways, uh, to the Sabre. This is the first Thin Neck that I've ever uh, done uh, and owned, and um, basically... Uh, for my first thin neck, I wanted something, wanted something a little different, you know. Um, you know, I had considered the uh, Saber Forge Redeemer, the Prodigal Son, the Exalted, and uh, even uh, also considered possibly the Roman props. But this particular hilt really struck a chord with me. I don't know what it was about the aesthetics of it that it just appealed to me, but I really liked it so much that a few weeks ago I bit the bullet and got an empty hilt from the. Uh, Saber Forge Etsy page and what's weird is I didn't see this hill on the Saber Forge website I don't know what the deal is there but um, I don't know if it's a special run or what but I like the hill a lot so and uh, apparently our uh, our head of the form Saber form that I'm a part of Shamim likes it too because he did a video today as well <laughs> so very cool and, it, and his turned out fantastic his looks awesome and uh, he, I think he did RGB on his, so, which I haven't done an RGB yet, but maybe one day. So, but anyways, here's the hilt. Um, I may make some minor changes to it here eventually, but uh, just for the sake of the video, I'll show you. So here it is. Saber Forge Descendant. And I think they have another one called the Descendant, but they spell it differently. Uh, this is um, the first thin neck that I've ever had, and also the most wire congested hilt that I've worked on by far because this is the length I have to work with as far as wiring because this also has an illuminated white ring switch it's it's a black switch with a white ring um, and a recharge port um, internally now it's got a V3 soundboard uh, with a 2 watt bass speaker Darth Rio all-in-one chassis which I had to heavily modify because um, it was too long so what I did was I Shorten the length uh, with uh, my Dremel and uh, and uh, where the recharge uh, port section would go on there. I got rid of that so that the battery could seat in further. So, but um, I will say this, as I, <clears throat> as I already said, is that there is a lot of congestion. And most of it is in this middle section right here where the illuminated switch and the recharge port are. Because I've got resistors from the LED, which is housed in here. And, um, you know, and then the chassis is in the handle grip section. So, yeah, this was quite a, <laughs> quite a, uh, uh, involved, uh, build as far as the wiring is concerned. Um, and, uh, also too, um, because of all of that, all of this, uh, congestion in here and, uh, because it's a tight fit anyway, I didn't even have to use a retention screw for the chassis. Nothing's rattling at all. I mean, it that nothing's going anywhere. So I mean, it's it's uh, it's in there pretty good, and it's secured by this pommel. So basically, the way I have to access the SD card is I don't I don't pull the chassis out by unscrewing the pommel. I uh, basically undo the grip section and the ch chassis just slides out when I pull off the grip section. So that's how I did it. I figured that would probably be the easiest way to do it. And that's how my Eddie Van Halen does, so it's not a problem whatsoever. So, But um, as far as, uh, of course, it's a Luxing Star Tri Rebel, which I'll go over that when the blade's in. Sound-wise, we've got uh, a couple of fonts. Uh, the first font is by Phoenix Sabres, I believe. And... Um, it's a, uh, I think it's called Tron Saber, I'm not sure, but it's basically a Tron Legacy inspired font, which it mimics the information disc uh, from Tron Legacy, and uh, I thought it was a really cool, uh, really cool font, and as you can see, I'm sporting my uh, Tron themed Big Bang Theory shirt, the Zynga, so, thought it was appropriate, but anyways, 
Now, the boot-up sound uh, is a little different. I, I did the boot-up sound. The boot-up sound that uh, Phoenix Sabres did was cool, but I wanted the, I wanted something a little different, so this is what I came up with. Basically, the title sequence at the beginning of the movie when the uh, Tron Legacy uh, title comes up. And here's the font. Very abrupt, but very subtle power down. Just disappears like that. Very softly. All right, and here's the uh, other sound font. This is Shamim's uh, Ancient Time Lord's Doctor Who sound font. I uh, used this sound phone on Allie's uh, Harley Quinn lightsaber that we gifted to her. Only thing I did different was uh, I used one of uh, Shamim's different power down sounds, which is a little longer. I'm going to let you listen to this hum because this hum is really cool. It's got a, got a girl that's uh, doing ooze. It's really, really nice. Very daunting, but very cool. And here's the uh, power down. All right, let me get a blade in here. Now I will say this: this saber is uh, I don't I didn't have any mylar tape uh, on me, so uh, it's not uh, as bright um, as my other sabers. But um, I do have some mylar tape, but it's textured, so I don't know if it would work or not. But uh, the custom saber shop is out of stock right now, so but the saber still looks pretty good. Um, here, here you go. Let me turn the light off first. And there's the white ring illuminated switch right there. All right. So uh, to correct myself on one of the vi last videos I did uh, for Danny Childress's uh, Saber Forge Justicar, um, his was a green cyan mix with a white flash on clash, which I call Arctic green. That's actually incorrect. This is Arctic green, which is a combination of lime cyan and with a white flash on clash. So my mistake there. But even even without the mylar tape, I mean, because the, the LEDs light has further to travel than my other sabers, it's still pretty bright. So I like it. So very cool. I love that Tron sound phone, it's really cool. All right, let me go turn the light off. So, there you have it. That is my Saber Forge Descendant lightsaber. Really happy with my purchase and uh, happy to have this as my first thin net, to say the least. Like I said, I think I'm going to replace uh, the pommel with a uh, with uh, Saber Forge's Graflex version uh, of a pommel uh, with a D ring, which is on their ASP line, and uh, probably get rid of the cover tech because I will say this: the cover tech does kind of get in the way, 
And um, one thing I had to do different uh, with this saber because it's multiple parts, whereas my other saber sabers are pretty much just one piece. Um, I had to get some O-rings for this section right here because the cover tech knob section was on the front where, where the activation switch is, which isn't correct. So I got a couple of O-rings and that solved my problem. So you can see cover tech, LED, and uh, blade retention all line up pretty good. So, so there you have it, Saber Forge Descendant. I'm really happy with this Saber. So... Um, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my page and are interested in subscribing, uh, to your bottom right, there should be a guitar pick with Grand Theft Audio's logo. So click on that if you want to subscribe. Check out my other videos. Uh, I've got a Mega Man build. My, you can also check my Aid Van Halen Graflex build. Um, and I've got some other sabers that I've uh, built. This is actually my seventh uh, build so far. I know Mega Man, I said it was my fifth, but uh, that was actually my sixth. This is my seventh. So I got one more coming up. I might, hopefully I'll get some more commissions here. But anyways, uh, this is Josh Haynes. Uh, thank you once again for watching my video. Y'all keep it sexy and may the force be with you.